Oh, chat. Yeah, I picked Nasus against BC. If you pick Nasus, you're kind of left to the mercy of your opponent. And let's just say that uh, since we decided to play a Riven game, I'm not going to give this guy any mercy, huh? So you were a Bronze 1, Bronze 3, Silver 4 player. This is your main account. Like, you are you are not smurfing, right? So this guy was a Silver 4, Bronze 3, Bronze 1 player. And then you went to Platinum 4 with a 71% win rate. And he said he went here after getting both of my courses. That makes me extremely happy. That puts, that gives me confidence in my craft too. You want this result too? Check out estimation more courses. I'm telling you. Every move you made, I was watching you. All right, chat, we're playing against a Nasus. You know what I teach as well? How to win your lane level one. My, my big, what is this word? My biggest phrase is always, the first four waves matter the most. But what if I told you? Yeah, I'm a piggy icon. You can win your lane at level one, all right? What you do against these super weak early game champions is your goal is to try to zone them from the first three minions worth of EXP while still getting the EXP yourself. EXP snowballs much harder in the early game than gold. And the reason as to why is because it dismatches the level up timers. And every level up timers is equivalent to 600 to 700 gold in stats, plus I get an extra ability. So here I see the Ness is walking. He could be walking like this. He could be walking like this. If he does so, I'm going to already zone him like this, right? So now he's going to be walking like this. And again, my goal is to try and zone this guy from the first three mins worth of EXP. That's all I'm trying to do. So I'm waiting for these mins to get a little bit lower HP. And then I'll be going forward. So now Nasus is losing the EXP and I am not. I am losing the gold. He is losing the gold. But he loses the EXP and I don't. So now I'm halfway to level 2 and he is not. And I'm going to try and actually make this wave push towards me by only lasting at the latest frames. And if he hits the means like this, the wave will actually start pushing towards me. And then what's going to happen is I hit level 2, but he's still level 1. But then the, also the wave is going to start pushing towards me because now it's actually closer to his side of the wave. So now he's not hitting enough. And, the, and this cast is staying alive is extremely unfortunate. But still you see the point where right now Nessus literally cannot play the game. He's gonna hit level 2 from this mean though. But I'm already extremely close to level 3. There you go, you got it. I need 2 means to get my level 3. If he walks up even a little bit... Okay, he's not. Kha'Zix did level 3 gank into mid, and now he's gonna go into top side. alright? 12 CS means he's done both 3 camps. He wants the cannon. I should've punished his 10 times harder. All good. Now, we crash wave number 4, and I'm going to see if I can find the Kha'Zix in this jungle. Because he's in this jungle for sure. Kha'Zixus, where are you? It's good. Uh, a little bit of mechanics too, and you quickly swipe enemy jungler and basically move around the game like that. Jungle tracking, uh, jet fundamentals. So the combo I did there was E, flash, auto, and then WQ. If you guys didn't know, at the end of your E animation, Riven can perform a double cast. Watch this. You need to do it in WQ order though. Look, E, WQ, and you use both abilities at once. So what I do there is E, and then flash, buffer my auto, WQ, auto attack again, and it dies. Meanwhile, Wave is bouncing into me, so I don't lose too much, and I shot down enemy jungler. Now, enemy jungler has 16 CS, so he's coming back into topside again. So I gotta keep that in mind, but my jungler now is super far ahead. I know Kha'Zix is going to be here, so I have to keep that in mind, okay? I want to try and thin out this wave so that the Nasus can't crash this before this next wave comes. I'm well aware that he stops that. Don't worry, brother. Alright, so again, I want to hold this wave before this wave comes so it doesn't crash in the turret so that the wave doesn't bounce back into the Nasus so that I can potentially maintain a freeze here. Beautiful. I would love some jungle assistance here too now. I'm forced to perm my respect enemy jungler, unfortunately. I'm acting as if my jungler isn't here. That gives Nasus the, like, kind of the free sign to walk up, but... He didn't know my jungler is not green. I wanted to last it, I couldn't get it, alright. So you see how I was standing back and that kind of baited Nasus to stand forward. Now here, I'm going to do another trick chat, and that is slow pushing this wave, and waiting for this wave that's going to spawn right now, to also walk through the lane. Now, my goal here is to keep at least one minion alive, so this next wave has full clearance to walk through the lane. Ooh, this was a banger. And once it has walked through the lane, then I can instantly hard push it and look for reset and I lose nothing. In fact, I could even proxy an extra wave to get extra gold because guess what? Kha'Zix is bot side again because I'm actively tracking the jungles through counting CS and by knowing where he started. So I'm using all of the point mouse. So now I will proxy because I know that Nasus can't answer plus Kha'Zix is bot side. So I can get this plate and I don't have to be scared of Kha'Zix because I know he's currently bot side. He can come into top side, but he's not top side yet. 
How nice is the game when you structure it like this, chat, huh? Yeah. Kind of looks easy to play almost, no? Now, Kha'Zix is going to be around here, most likely. Kha'Zix, if anything, is going to be ganking from this angle. He's not bot side anymore. He also wasn't at this bot side gank. He could be on Dragon. That could be true, too. Okay, okay, he's on Dragon, yes. I actually didn't expect that. So he has 36 now, so he has both topside camps, and this scuttle is here. So what you do in these scenarios when you can't kill your opponent, is you let them go for the wave or you just take plates. Because this is still half a kill, chat. This is still half a kill right here that I'm getting. Look, Bomba, half a kill. If I don't need to kill this guy to expand my lead. I just need to make sure that I'm getting more resources than him. And then ultimately, I'm still expanding my lead. Thing. Now I want to get to 750 gold ACP and recall because that is my biggest spike. So I'm looking to go for the scuttle. It's right here. It's not right here. It's lied to me. I'm going to hard push this wave as fast as possible into the recall. A wave like this gives around 130 gold. So I need to get all the assets and then sell one potion. I probably have it. All right, I'll sell both potions, but that's completely fine because I'm going to have to sustain from Hyda anyways. If this Nas is extremely smart, he's going to try and cancel my base with his E to stop my tempo. Fuck you, Nasus. Anyways, I said I only said it for educational purposes. I didn't. Oh, he had a ward. I don't want to actually Anybody do it. You know. My wall up, I'm you. I don't want to actually Head do it. Hug. This guy thinks he can freeze our wall. I kind of want my Hydra, but this guy is playing pretty decent with his fundamentals, making it tricky for me to get my recoil. In. How do you decide whether to go Gore, Drinker, Hydra, all that stuff? It's it's uh, matchup dependent and comp dependent. Enemy team doesn't have that much burst, right? They have a Senna support, they don't have like an engaged support. They have to see here, but the top side also doesn't have that much burst, right? So I like the Hydra. This game, I could go Cleaver second to get some extra HP, but I could also instantly go Eclipse for some armor penetration. And then, uh, let's see this game. It also really depends on how my opponents are itemizing. It's a combination of everything, right? If they are building a lot of armor, I need Eclipse. If they're not building a lot of armor, I can go Duskblade, for example. Because Eclipse gives armor penetration, Duskblade is good against Squish. She's. But this guy has double cloth armor already. Alright. So you see, I'm never killing this Nasus, but I'm still highly expanding my lead. How am I doing that, chat? Plates, proxy, jungle camps, okay? I did not kill the Nasus here. I'm not looking to kill him. But I got the plate, I proxied, and now I get the scuttle. So 175 from the plate and 100 gold from the scuttle. Guess what? I still get 300 more gold than the Nasus. So I'm expanding my lead, even though I'm not getting a single kill. And this is what you guys need to learn to do as well. There you go, 88 gold, plus 175, aka expanding my lead. Now I'm going to go mid, because I have tempo here. Enemy mid and jungle are going to recall. So I'm going to be pushing out this wave. This guy's freezing anyways, I don't care. I get plates here too. So now I got one plate top, I got scuttle, and I'm gonna get one plate mid. I did not kill the Nessus. Did I need to though? Did I need to though, chat? <gasps> My man, can I get some salutes for that one cast of me in that absolute fighter? Because ultimately, if I wasn't doing any of this, I would just be farming even with the Nessus right now. But you see, I don't even need kills to get super fed. I want to get his ult out. That's good. Alright, we finally got our solo kill. Kha'Zix could be here, especially since we're getting the dragon. So let's dip, I have a very fat shutdown. Kha'Zix is both sides, stole the dragon, unfortunate. But Senna stop side, so I still think it's correct to recall here. Let's see. Now we are extremely fat because we got our solo kill. And now I'm going to be buying CDR boots to keep expanding my lead. And I'm most likely looking for Cleaver because this guy's built a lot of armor. Now, enemy team is not building a lot of armor, so I guess I could still pivot here and uh, end up... Just finishing my full mythic. Let's say I recall next next time on 2000 gold. I might just go my full mythic. This wave is slow pushing. I think I should just take this in the meantime. Nasus ult comes back a little bit faster than mine. This is kind of what I want, but I'm not sure where Kha'Zix is at. I don't have ult, I don't have flash, so I'm going to look for the scuttle instead. And as you guys can see, I just got a golem camp. I'm taking a scuttle camp again now. This is how you get to 10 cents per minute, okay? So you need to learn to start getting efficient on the map if you want to have 10 cents per minute every single game, like I'm doing. I am very sure that you guys sometimes have laning phases where you're gonna have five solo kills, but you don't even have close to the amount of gold that I currently have in this game. That was risky though, I have no idea where Kha'Zix is at, but I got his ult out. I could have died here. So, you see here, I am so far ahead in gold on the Nasus, but I only have two solo kills, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys in chat very often have lightning faces where you get five solo kills, six solo kills, but still you don't carry the game. Why? Because you're not good at expanding your lead, and you pl don't play risk averse. So now what I want to do is slow push this wave, a slow push hitting the third. Oh, for, first of all, he hits means, but I also allow this wave to walk up. And then with that, I gain some extra tempo. So now I push this, and now I get to instantly push this wave as well. 
That's I need 150 more gold, 110 more gold. Then I'll have my cleaver. Now we need to find a way to expand our lead. What's enemy wing condition? Kha'Zix super fat, Aphelio super fat. They have true dragon, so dragon is our wing condition as well. So how do we want behind this game here? I am super fat. I am my wing condition. Diana's okay fat, but yes, a lot of people on enemy team are fat. So I'm going to try and get this herald here, even though it's completely out of my tempo. I, okay, no, I'm not gonna do it. I have cleaver in base. I should recall and get cleaver. I shouldn't fight here because I have cleaver. If I die, I give my shutdown. So never take for the, go for the skirmishes. You need to have spent your gold before you can go for skirmishes like this. Now, I want to look for windows where I can look to 1v1 people. I win the 1v1s. I'm not that strong in team fight. These are exactly the kind of kills I need. Oh. Bro. I get a tier 2 turret from this as well. This is amazing for both of us. She took my cannon, you disgust. Kidding. Okay, we need a third dragon here somehow. Uh, we should recall and we should play for this third dragon. I'll go Dirk here simply because four players or three players don't have armor. No armor, no armor, no armor. So. The serrated dirk with the lethality is good here also because I'm already level 13. The more levels you have, the more damage or the more lethality you get, so it's a bit more valuable. Kha'Zix is dead. Getting this dragon here kind of shuts down that weak condition for them because then they won't get three at least. So I kind of want my Jonah to come here. I only have three kills this game, chat. I'm just playing very methodical, right? I'm not taking any risk. I'm taking fights that are either good in terms of 1v1 or good numbers advantage right and in the meantime i'm keeping my 10 cs per minute up in fact i have 11 cs per minute so right now what i'm going to do here is just push up two sideways because there's no tier two turret anyways there's not really an objective for me to look for here i just need to make sure i don't die i feel like i can 2v1 them even at this point if i play correctly Ness is a stop. I'm gonna hide in this bush. Let's run mid. Alright, nobody's gonna come to bot lane. So I'm gonna reset the side of here. That means that somebody's going to have to collect. Looks like Ness is going to be collecting, and that gives me tempo to move towards here as well. Somebody's going to be collecting bot wave. Okay, I gotta be a little careful. Alright, I can't pressure mid here. So what I'm going to do instead is go to play for top lane. Yeah, Chase doesn't know what's going on. I cancelled all of their bases too. He flashed on me. Still a very tricky game. Because this guy's two items, two items, right? I have pretty open ground here, so it's tricky for them to kill me here. Mechanics. And now we can do dash. That's my moment. I had to wait 20 minutes to get a moment like this, but we got it. Oh, oh, what do we do when we get two kills? We TP bolt, I guess. That's what we do. All right. Once the objective is secured, guaranteed, I'm going to start pushing out sideways. Don't waste extra tempo seconds when the neutral objective is already secured. Try to get maximum income that you can. Because if enemy team is dead, obviously you have full tempo on the map because nobody can realistically stop your Unkateshu because you're always going to have numbers advantage. What's up with every Diana player and being so toxic and like tilt have i think i go dust blade here actually and i can explain why uh i have cleaver against tabis here and these two armor components here but this guy is zero armor she's going for zonias though zero armor zero armor on their bot lane so i feel like the actual lethality is very good here but this guy's gonna have zonias tabis this so they do have quite a bit of armor but I do at least have Cleaver to compensate with that. I don't need that much more armor penetration. I love that my teams are trying to tell me how to play the game. There's gonna be a Senna W here. Yep, yeah, and then we have four item Riven. That's the third time I've killed Nasus Chat. I've never looked to kill this Nasus this entire game. All I've done was get my lead in top lane. I got my one solo kill. Then completely expended that one solo kill. By taking plates and jungle camps. I solo killed him one more time. I've ignored Nasus the rest of the game. And played for my win condition on the map. I have 270 CS. I'm barely looking for kills. I got my four items. I got one skirmish here where I picked two people, that's all I needed, and then I single-handedly carried the game. That guy was 7 and 4, that guy was 7 and 3. I mean, my Diana's also a monster, I guess. It is so easy to 1v9 games with this champion, if you know what to do. Alright, chat. 
Hope you learned something new today. I hope you learned something new in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 